Crossrail is a 14.8 billion pound project and Farringdon is going to be right at the heart of it. We're going to build two new ticket halls, a platform tunnel 25 metres underground and 240 metres in length right under my feet. Thameslink constructed the integrated ticket hall um, which will be Crossrail's West Ticket Hall right near Farringdon London Underground Station. The, the integrated ticket hall opened on the 14th of December last year and is operating um, uh, as, a, uh, as a fully operational London Underground and Thames Inc station today. We've already demolished the buildings on the East Ticket Hall. We've diverted and protected major utilities around the area and the advanced works is well underway. You can see that we're underway with piling which is in the order of 30% complete. The key activities here at Farringdon are to complete the construction of the shaft at the East Ticket Hall by September this year and then to prepare for the main works contract. There are two key activities. One is to complete ground movement control operations that will ensure that all of our activities including the tunnelling and the platform construction doesn't cause damage to the operational railway to the infrastructure um, to, and structures around Farringdon and to the utilities around Farringdon. Um, and then the excavation of the tunnel boring machine reception chambers. Smithville Market are key stakeholders to us here at Farringdon and allowing them to operate effectively during the Crossrail works draws a key focus. We also work closely with the local school who need to be able to drop off their children at the beginning and collect them at the end of the day safely, adjacent to our works. By the time the Crossrail work is finished in 2018, Farringdon will be a vibrant transport hub and thereafter, very shortly afterwards, will be developed into a major office and residential area, seen as a destination rather than just as a core place to travel through.